What is up, Crackhead Nation? Izzy of Princess Galaxy, and I just got out of the shower. <laughs> so, while coming up with ideas for this week's video, I decided that I am going to be ranking my ultimate biases on a tier list, and I'm actually really excited. And this is probably gonna be the hardest video I've ever had to do, <laughs> like ever, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. I've just been really thinking lately about like my life and my K-pop journey, just how much time I've just spent obsessing over these idols. And I wanna show you guys my favorite idols so you can put this in the archive for you know, letting you guys know who my faves are from my favorite groups. And let's just get into it. So I actually have a list of all my biases and I'm gonna read them out to you right now. Oh my God, I have to show you guys. There's one back here I love so much. It's like, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that's so cute. My hair is so cute. Okay, can I like fix myself? Okay, so I have my biases and I'm gonna tell it to you right now. So get excited. So in EXO, my biases are Chanyeol and Kai. Chanyeol and Kai, they're so amazing. I'm not, I don't have to explain right now. I will do that during the ranking, okay? Next is Blackpink and my two biases from Blackpink are Rose and Lalisa Manoban, Che Lisa. We have no choice but to love them. Next is BTS and my three faves are Kim Line, which is Namjoon, RM, Young, V, and Jin. So <laughs> that one's gonna be really hard, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Next is Lucas from NCT slash Wavy. Samuel from, well, he was in 17 and then he left and then he wasn't produced and then he didn't make it to the final group. And um, now he's just doing his own thing and we love to see it. He's so talented and we have no choice but to stand. And finally is my ultimate girl crush, CL from former 21 fame. And she was obviously my bias and um, her solo stuff now, which is amazing. If you've not heard Five Star, she's so good. So I have five categories I'm gonna be putting all my faves in. Number one is shoddy your little baddie. Shoddy my little boo thing. And basically it's like the lowest tier. It's like obviously you're my fave and like you're cute. You know, she's a baddie. You know, she does what she has to do. You know, she just lives her life how she wants. The next one is iconic things me thinks, which basically is this iconic things me thinks, you know. So that was pretty self-explanatory. Just a little above baddie, but also it's like you're an icon. You're not just a baddie, you're an icon and we love to see it. I'm gonna be saying we love to see it a lot, so be prepared for that, just saying. So the next one is Skinny Legend, which obviously we all know what a Skinny Legend is. If you're skinny and you're a legend, you're a little more than an icon, but you're like a legend. Next is the fourth one, which is how do you look like that? Like literally, how are you existing? Like you're almost an actual God, but like you're still a human being. Very close to my next category, which is God-like. Like you are the ultimate, you are talented, show-stopping, amazing, uh, put in a blender, shit it out, shit, you know what I mean? Like that whole Gaga spiel. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, bomb it on it, eat it, give birth to it. And those are the categories. So I'm gonna try my best to put all of my biases in these categories. Please wish me luck and please also enjoy the light coming from my computer. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So let's start with EXO. So Chanyeol and Kai. Chanyeol was my second bias in EXO. My first was Schumann, but then I saw Chanyeol and he took my heart. So here's the thing with Chanyeol. I was obsessed with him for like years, like a very long time. Like I have his autographs, you know, I had his poster above my bed when I was staying with my mom. And like one time it fell on me and like it scared me. That's, and so I took it away. But like he was above my bed. Like I would look at Chanyeol before I go to sleep. Like this is serious. <laughs> and obviously I still love Chanyeol, but I kind of feel like it's like, 
he's still in my heart but I'm just gonna put him under skinny legend because he is a tall skinny legend. Next is Kai. So if you guys don't know, Kai is the dancing machine icon of EXO. And he recently came out with his solo album, which we're all happy about. Yay, Kim Jong-in, Kim Jong-in. So with Kai, I like him obviously a little less than chun but it's all just based on my experience. So with Kai, I feel like he is just like ethereal. I don't know, maybe I will put him in the godlike tier. You know what, I'm gonna put him in how do you look like that? Because even though he's not my, like my, like my biggest bias in EXO, he's still like every time I see him, like I saw him live on Super M Tour and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, how do you look like that? So this is a perfect category for him. All right, next we have Blackpink and I'm gonna go with Larissa Manoban because she is the dancing machine. She is iconic, she's legendary. Like, and she gives off that swagger. Like she's so confident in herself. She's like that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like born skinny bitch, I'm a psycho daughter model. Like, hey, like that's so her. Like that's literally her life. I'm pretty sure I love Lisa if I sound like this when I'm like right, when she's right in front of me. <laughs> So for Lisa, this is like, this is really hard actually, like, okay, I'm gonna put her under godlike. Here's why, it's Lisa. That's the only explanation I need, okay. Next is Rose. Obviously Rose and Lisa are kind of like that double combo for me. Rose under skinny legend. And I think the reason why is because I I'm really gravitate to idols that are like very badass and like, you know, bad bitch energy like that. And like with Rose, she gives me that, but she's also a very like gentle soul. And so like for me, like I can accept that and love that, but compared to all my other biases, you know, she's just a skinny legend and we love to see it. Okay, next is BTS. I have Taeyang, Jin, and Namjoon and Taeyang is like, should I turn on the light? Okay, not right now. BTS is like the only group where like I've ever had one bias and I'm like, that's my main bias. Because Taeyang has always, like that's the first time I've ever like looked at a man like in a K-pop group and I'm like, that boy is mine. That boy is mine, that boy is mine. So for Taeyang, I'm gonna put him in Godlike because he just gives me those feels, he gives me that energy. He's so effortlessly beautiful. And like, it's like he doesn't even try. Second, I'm gonna turn his light on. It got dark really fast. I just hate, don't you hate how it gets dark at like 6 p.m. now? But maybe I should just get used to it because I've been living on this earth for almost 22 years. So maybe I'm the problem. Next is Jin. So Jin is probably my third in command for BTS. And he's also so effortlessly beautiful. Like I remember seeing him live in concert and that was the first time I ever kind of like, you know, gave a shit about Jin really. And it's just like, I learned so much about him. Like he is just so kind and just so loving and he also can cook and I'm like, yes. So even though he's not godlike, at least in my view for my biases, I'm going to put him under shoddy a little baddie because he my little boo thing. So next is our world leader of the world, Namjoon. That was pretty repetitive, world leader of the world. You get what I'm saying. So Namjoon has a very like interesting aesthetic and vibe that like usually I would not be attracted to, but something about him, he just like, he just oozes leadership and confidence. And it's just, like, he is a family man, you know? And that's like so cute to me. So I'm gonna put Namjoon under iconic things me thinks because he's usually like not my type when it comes to K-pop groups, but at the same time, he is just so hot and he's also the only black member of BTS. <laughs> All right, down to my last three. Okay, so we have Lucas. Lucas is obviously a member of like 50 groups in SM. <laughs> but most notably, I know him from Super M and that's how I started like basically getting on the Lucas train. And Lucas like, I don't know what he be eating, but he is like beautiful. Like literally, he's so funny. And he's like crackhead, give me that crackhead. You know NCT, I remember NCT gives me that crackhead energy, but especially Lucas and he also is just like, tall and like skinny and he's like 
Like, that's my dad right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I'm going to put him under how do you look like that? Because literally, how do you look like that? Okay, next is Samuel. So, if you guys don't know, Samuel, like I said, was in 17 and then he left. And then he was in Produce 101 and then he left. And now he's doing solo stuff. And I know he's came out with a few songs, like 16 and like some singles. But I'm not sure if he's came out with an album yet. But um, I don't know why, but I just really gravitate to him. And he just has like such a beautiful face. And like, he just has kind of like a calm like aura about him. But he's also like badass. And like, um, some of his covers on Twitter went viral, I think, last year. So I'm going to put Samuel under shawty a little baddie because he is little and he is a baddie he's younger than me okay next so next we have the iconic the most legendary person probably on this list to be honest it's my queen and your queen lee shaylin aka cl aka the baddest female aka i think that's it so CL obviously is iconic and she has just been through so much in the industry with 21 and then like um, breaking down to her solo career and I could not be more proud of her. I've been a black jack for a very long time and seeing her finally come out with music and a new album is just, <laughs> this makes me so warm inside. She also just gives off this energy of like, I'm that bitch. And like, I think that's something like so many of us like want to exude. I currently exude it every time I breathe, but <laughs> that's just a personal thing. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put CL, like I don't even, like I don't know. I'm thinking like skinny legend, but like she gives me like icon tings, me things. But I feel like I should be putting her higher because I feel like that's like not fair. Like she's like the oldest member on here. Like, I mean the oldest person on here. Like shouldn't she like, have more respect well whatever it's my list and i still love her so i'm gonna put her under iconic things icon tings me thinks yeah because she is an icon and me thinks of that so <laughs> yeah that's that so we're gonna go through the whole list right now the lowest category which does not mean the worst it just means compared to the others they were lower on the list but lower does not always equal worse so keep that in mind and leave your comments to yourself so the first category is shoddy little baddie with Jin and Samuel. I'm looking at that and like, that looks. Okay, let's just move on. Next is Icon Tings, Me Thinks with Namjoon and CL, the amazing leaders of their groups as they should be, as they should be. Next one is Skinny Legend with Chanyo and Rose. They're both extremely talented also in their musical abilities, which I forgot to mention, but you know what? I mentioned it now, so I guess I didn't forget. Next is how do you look like that with Kai and Lucas? And I think like them being in the group together. Oh my God, all these groups both have two, two people in them. I didn't even mean to do that. I think I'm an icon me thing. So Kai and Lucas are definitely perfect for that category. And finally, God tier, which I guess are like my ultimate biases, are Lisa and Taeyong. And looking at that, that makes sense because um, Taeyong gives me bad nigga energy and Lisa gives me bad bitch energy. So you know what? I guess I won here because this is my list and um, this is the final consensus of life. So if you don't like it, make your own video, make your own list. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed this content, like the video for more and I love you very much. Subscribe for more crackhead K-pop content. And if you wanna see more of my beautiful face, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All right guys, I hope you actually have a really good rest of your January. January has been going really great for me and I hope I can give some of my good vibes to you okay i will be doing my nails and i'll be seeing you on other stuff okay love you bye what secret message should i say for the end love yourself yeah.